Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to uh, load and operate a 1940s Revere Model 85 8mm projector. Now, uh, one thing about these is they will only accept uh, up to a 5 and 3 quarter inch reel. They will not take the 400 foot 7 inch reels. These are 300 foot reels. Uh, maximum. Um, it's always best to try to not fill these things up all the way. If and if you have, if you have them filled up all the way, they some people used to splice these things all the way up to the end. Makes the film handling very difficult. So, if you do have one like that, what you can do while you're while you're loading the film is put a little bit of tape. Pull out your leader, pull out your film leader, and then put some tape over the over the around the outside of the reel to keep it from um, from from spooling off. So we don't have that problem. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is show you how to how to thread this. So we'll go ahead and get started with that right now. Some of these mechanisms are a little bit different on these Model 85s. And there's some other videos on uh, on YouTube that show a little bit different model. It's their or version. They're all Model 85s. But uh, yeah, anyhow, this one here. Uh, in order to thread this, what we do is we open these little keepers, these film keepers. There's one on the bottom, one on the top. So we open those up, and then there's also a pressure plate here that holds the film uh, down to the film gate as it passes through. And so that right here is this little lever and we want to open that up I don't know if you can see the I guess you can see that so we want to open that up so we have, all of these are open all these keepers so then what we do we take the film and just put it in under the top sprocket and then Put the keeper up, and we run it down through the film gate here. Put a little loop in it up on the top side. Put a little loop on there, and then go ahead and close that pressure plate down. Then we loop it again on the bottom. I right, hope we're seeing this. Yeah, we can see it. Put another loop down on the bottom. And then close that, lock that down. Okay, so then we take the film and we put it in our slot down here on the take up reel. Like so. And then take it up like that. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is we will set this. I'll show you the transmission here. Right here. Okay, the next thing is we get this ready. Now this is the transmission right here, forward and reverse. So um, down here, the down position is forward. And then right back here, right up on top here is the clutch. And you can engage or disengage the clutch. We're going to start out with it disengaged. 
so it will be off. Okay. And then on the back side of the projector are our switches. There's one for the motor and one for the lamp. The motor's on the left, the lamp is on the right hand side, right down at the bottom there. And right up there is the speed control for the motor. So what we're going to do here is we will flip this, we'll turn the motor on. And that starts the motor, but the, the film is still not turning. So what we'll do then is go back to this clutch up here, up on the top side I was showing you earlier. Right here, the clutch. Right here. So we turn the clutch and that starts the film running. Now we're going to speed the, we're going to use the speed control. Speed that up just a little bit. And then we can flip on our lamp. Okay, so we can see, see we have something running back here. Right here on the side here, or on the, on the lens here is the focus. And you focus by turning it back or forth, one direction or the other. Now what we want to do is use the framing knob right here, right here by the clutch is the framer, just down just a tiny skosh. Right here is the framing knob, and it says framer on top of it. So what we do with that, we turn that framing knob, and that will move this picture up and down so that it squares. on the screen so we don't have part of part of the frame showing at the bottom and part of the frame at the top okay now what was causing that picture to hop what was causing it to jump was the fact that right down here the bottom loop was we lost the bottom loop right down here. You can see that right below the film gate there's no loop, there's no loop around. So what we what we do is we open up, we open back up the, the film gate, the pressure plate, and open this back up a little bit and then pull, pull our film down a little a little bit back and reestablish this this loop down at the bottom so we go ahead and close that close that back down now it should as you can see now it's running oh, yeah now it's running fine again those loops are important so that the picture is stable
Okay, our film is run all the way out. And what we want to do is put the film back up onto the top bead reel again from the take up reel. So first thing you do, we we just go directly up to the top wheel reel and put that in the slot. Go ahead and wind a little bit onto the onto the top spool. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and put our clutch off again. Alright. It's kind of hard to show this exactly, but right over here, see if I can see what I got going here. Right here, we move this clutch back to off position. So then what we're going to do is reach to the back side and turn the motor back on and so the motor's on and what we're going to do is put this up into the reverse position and then turn our clutch back on Okay, so this Model 85, for whatever reason, doesn't want to stay up in the reverse position when we start it. So I simply had to hold it up uh, while the reel was rewinding. So uh, sometimes these old projectors have little idiosyncrasies like that. And we just have to deal with it. You know, it's not a major issue. We just hold that up. And it rewound fine. Uh, I don't really see exactly what's causing it. But nonetheless it rewound fine and that's how it's done. Another small thing here. If you ever need to do a, sm a sh short. Need to advance the film or something. While it's in the film gate. This right here. This knob right here, you can turn this knob and it will advance it will advance the mechanism. Uh, normally the lamp in these is a 500 watt CZX DAB. You can also use a 300 watt CXY, uh, I think it's CXK lamp. And to get into it, you just unscrew this this little screw on the back here that holds this top on the top vent, and and then to take the lamp out, you push down, push down on the lamp, and turn it counterclockwise. Whoop. So down counterclockwise about. An eight to a quarter of a turn, and out comes the lamp. Let's put it back in. It's kind of spring loaded, so when you put it in, kind of turn the thing around until you find where those little tabs fit in, and then just push it down, give it a turn about a quarter of a turn, and then it's in position. Down here at the bottom, I might as well show that as well. But right down at the bottom is a a little knob here that you can turn either direction, and that will adjust the height of the picture on the screen. And uh, and once you get that set into position, there's a little. I don't know if we're showing this here. Yeah, you can see it. There's a, there's a little tightening nut on the back side here. 
that locks it in so it doesn't keep moving back and forth on you. So, that about does it. 